Okay, these are uh, some very different uh, specimens from what I'm usually uh, finding around Central Texas. Um, we've got loaf uh, oysters right here. They look really cool. Um, they look like that plant eating uh, or that man eating plant from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. And here's another one. Uh, as you can see, they're gigantic. And I found and next to them are these guys right here. And I have no idea what they are. Um, at first, when I saw them, I thought that they were uh, worm tubes, but um, they were sticking vertically out of sand, and there were tons of them. This is just uh, a few pieces of them, um, and they uh, look hollow in the tube uh, areas of them. Um, but as you can see, it's a really strange shape. And it looked like a little forest sticking up um, out of uh, the sand that I found. Um, these were actually uh, found around uh, uh, Stephenville, Hamilton area. Now here's another mystery right here that was found with the Lofa uh, oysters. Um, it's obviously a clam, but um, it's got really pronounced ridges on it. and. Uh, atop the ridges are some kind of like claws or bumps. Um, I've never found anything like that before. Um, anyway, moving on to where else did I go? Uh, sort of near Gatesville. Um, I found a bunch of white uh, clay with uh, heart urchins in it and clams and everything. But underneath um, that uh, layer was a layer of these kind of orangish rocks with tons of um, Turritella snails, uh, ammonites, and uh, what looked to be oyster or clam mash along with them, so, or hash, whatever you call it. Um, also, another cool thing I found right in that same area was a different kind of uh, heart urchin from what I'm used to. It's uh, a lot uh, longer than it is wide. Uh, unlike the usual type that I find, which are almost spherical. Um, and here's another one of the new kind. So I'm trying to get them in the light right. So um, anyway, that's just some of the stuff that I found uh, in the last couple of days. So had a really good uh, couple of days. Out.